This method is used to repair cosmetic defects or minor damage to an unsupported tooling or mounting hole. The hole may have component leads, wires, fasteners, pins, terminals, or other hardware run through it. This repair method uses high-strength epoxy to restore the damaged surface surrounding the hole. This method can be used on single-sided, double-sided, or multi-layer circuit boards and assemblies. Damaged interlayer connections may require surface wire adds. The minimum skill level needed to complete this procedure reliably is advanced. The conformance level reached when this procedure is completed properly is high. To complete this procedure, you will need the following tools and materials. Alcohol swabs. These are self-saturating disposable foam swabs filled with isopropyl alcohol. They're ideal for removing flux residue and cleaning surfaces prior to soldering, coating, and application of epoxy. Ball mills. Ball mills can be used in a manually operated tool grip or powered micro drill. They are carbide tipped for long life and make drilling damage plated through holes and grinding away damaged baseboard material a snap. Cleaner. A general purpose solvent for manually removing fluxes and contamination. Cleaning brushes. These disposable brushes are primarily used with solvents for cleaning. Color agents. Color agents are used to tint the color of epoxy used for solder mask repair or circuit baseboard repair. Color agents can also be applied directly to a circuit board surface for color matching. Epoxy. The best epoxy for circuit board work is clear with low viscosity and super strength. The epoxy shown is precisely measured into two compartment plastic packages so it's easy to use and there's no measuring. High temperature tape discs. These high temperature tape discs are made of polyamide film with a silicon adhesive that will not leave a residue when removed. They come in a variety of sizes and are used for a wide range of applications including temporarily holding small items in position. Knife. This is a must-have tool used for precise cutting, scraping, and trimming. Micro drill system. Versatile power tool for milling, drilling, grinding, cutting, and sanding circuit boards. Oven. A general purpose oven for drying, baking, and curing. Scraper. The scraper has a hardened stainless steel tip for scraping solder mask and removing contamination and other surface defects. Wipes. Non-abrasive, low-linting wipes for cleanup. The procedure follows. Step 1. Clean the area. Step 2. Mill away the damaged board base material using the micro drill and ball mill. All damaged baseboard material and solder mask must be removed. No fibers of laminate material should be exposed at the surface perimeter of the hole. To clearly see that all damaged material has been removed, flood the area with alcohol or solvent. Damaged internal fibers of the base material will show up clearly. Step 3. Remove all loose material and clean the area. Step 4. Where needed, apply tape to protect exposed parts of the circuit board. Tape may be required inside the hole. If epoxy reduces the inside diameter, the hole may have to be re-drilled after the epoxy has cured. The circuit board may be preheated prior to filling the area with epoxy. A preheated PCB will allow the epoxy to easily flow and level out. Epoxy applied to an unheated circuit board may settle below the circuit board surface as the epoxy cures. Step 5. Mix the epoxy. If desired, add color agent to the mixed epoxy to match the PCB color. Step 6. Coat the area with epoxy up to and flush with the circuit board surface. A mixing stick may be used to apply and spread the epoxy. A slight overfill of epoxy may be desired to allow for shrinkage when epoxy cures. Step 7. Cure the epoxy per the manufacturer's recommendation. Step 8. After the epoxy has cured, remove the tape. Step 9. If needed, use a knife or scraper and scrape off any excess epoxy. Scrape until the new epoxy surface is level with the surrounding circuit board surface. Apply surface coating to match prior coating as required. Step 10. Remove all loose materials. Clean the area. If you need further help and prefer to send your circuit boards out for repair or rework, contact Circuit Technology Center. If you wish to purchase the tools and materials needed to complete this procedure at your facility, contact Circuit Medic.